There are plenty of reasons why I've committed to sharing lots of messages with respect to the subject of sex. And I'll try to run through some of the ones that stand out in my mind because I haven't written them down. So I'm just kind of going through experiences and knowledge and just kind of sifting um, through the pile and hopefully as always um, my prayer is that people will take what I have to say with an open mind because I'm not here to judge or condemn but I do know for a fact that if someone had talked to me about sex and the importance of it in the way that like we handle it, I think I could have saved myself a lot of grief and misery because when we're in school, they simply teach us the physical and biological aspect of sex, right? So they talk about the reproductive organs, pregnancy, diseases. I guess maybe they talk about abstinence. But they really don't go down to like the deeper layers. And my parents never even had the discussion with me. And friends, you know, they're all in the same boat. Um, with limited life experience and knowledge, so, you know, can't blame them for not knowing better. So I had to go through a lot of experience to arrive at where I am today. I don't regret anything, but if I could go back in time, you know, and use my wisdom that I've acquired till now, and then use it then, I would have made very different choices. But as they say, hindsight is twenty twenty, right? You always know more after the fact. And ultimately what happened to me was that once I withdrew from all sexual relations with other people, things began to become framed more appropriately. Now I'm in year six of having absolutely no sex, right? With another person. Mind you, I still had to battle some things on my own, right? But the progress I've made is like, incredible all glory to god obviously but you know i have a big part to play as well because it's all based on my decisions i could always backslide and go you know and return to what i used to do but because i've come so far i feel like i'm qualified to talk about you know um the detrimental effects of sex when we are not responsible and proceed with caution. Because it seems on a superficial level very inconsequential. Meaning that like, yeah, I'm just going to do this in the moment, and then I'm gonna just forget about it. But that's not the way sex works. Because like I said, there are many other things taking place beneath the surface that we're not aware of. One of the things for me was the spiritual aspect of sex. I simply saw it as a physical act. And that was it for me. And then as time went on, you know, I 
started to feel kind of like worse and worse about myself because knowing now what I know, it had diminished my worth because I was missing that critical component, right? The spiritual aspect of it, which truly a lot of people just don't talk about it, right? Um, they, they just, a lot of people are not even in tune, like they don't even know they have a spirit. So forget about talking, you know, about the spiritual perspective of, of sex, right? And with this freedom mindset, which was really a deception and a lie because there's nothing free about having sex with all types of people, right? That's being in bondage to your lusts and it controls you. And you start to see people like just a pawn um, in your game, right? You just kind of moving the pieces around. And I feel sorry, you know, that I was so reckless with the entire thing. And that's why I had to stop. And this was like even before I gave my life to the Lord, right? Because I, like I said, all this time of like accumulating bodies and soul ties, it started to take a toll on me. And I knew deep down this, there's something really wrong here. So I put the brakes and I said, enough, you know, if, if I can at least try to manage this one part of my life, let's see what'll happen, right? Because obviously what I'm doing has no good return on my investment. It's just taking me down into a darker state of being, right? So once I brought the power back in my court, a lot has changed. And that's why I talk about sex, because if I had known just how it had affected me, and even just beyond sex, it affected my health and my well-being, my relationships. And if I had known, you know, like, just how far-reaching the effects would be, I would have thought twice. Or at least I would have hopefully had more awareness, which would over time bring some type of conviction. But I was convicted, like, after a long time, right? Because, as I said earlier, I wasn't feeling good about myself. I felt completely, like, low, right? Really down. And now, I can honestly say, after six years of being kind of refined, it has changed my whole perspective on just everything, right? And a person can tell you, right? Like, let's just say a person who's with the Lord can say, well, you know, God's design is for sex between a man and a woman within the context of marriage. You can tell that to people and they'll be like, okay, so what, right? And if, like I said, even before I had a relationship to God, I already knew internally there's something really amiss here. Like, it's crazy. Like, I gotta stop. And then finally, a little while later, I decided to start living for the Lord. And I noticed that on my channel, people are interested in what I have to say about sex. And I'm not coming from a malicious place. I'm really not. 
And like I've said in the past, you know, it may take time for others to recognize what I'm saying. So that's why, like, if I talk about, let's just say, pornography or masturbation, right? Some may feel like rubbed the wrong way because it's like, oh, you're telling me um, kind of like what I'm doing is wrong. How dare you, right? No, I'm not telling you what you're doing is wrong. I'm telling you what I've done wrong and how I've crawled out of that situation. I just hope that my messages can be just used as education. That's it, right? Because like I said, in the school system, they really don't teach you like really all you need to know about sex. It's very like surface level stuff that you can find pretty much anywhere, like in a book, right? But I'm coming forward with like experience, which is really valuable because I used to live a life that was in complete opposite to the way I live now. So I'm not simply reading from a book and telling you, well, um, you know, um, sex outside of marriage is wrong. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all me. Like this is my life, my experiences. And I only hope that like people will take it that way right don't shoot the messenger i'm just simply trying to really um help bring some awareness to the state of our sexual health because it does extend beyond the bedroom right it seeps into all parts of life it affects you mentally emotionally physically, spiritually. And I think the spiritual part is the area where it just takes a lot of time to understand this like through and through. So until next time, God bless and amen.